Hey, Grand Rising Gods, Goddesses, Kings, Queens. I'm about to bring you the word of the day for December 30th, 2020. If you notice, the day is 1230. If you break down 12, that's 3. 30 is 3. 33. So you might want to Google the number 33, 3, 33, 3. I have already called forth my team. I have already meditated. Let's talk. Let's give them something to talk about. I broke the deck in half. You have the six of wands and you have the hangman. Victory is yours. We're starting off with victory because next year, victory is yours. You got to start looking at things as another angle, like upside down. Can't focus on A. You got to worry about B and C because sometimes A can fail. So Spirit is saying you got to look at plan B and plan C. You got to start seeing things through their eyes, spiritual eyes. Remember, you're spiritual. You can't always focus on your human eyes. Your human eyes is 3D. You're no longer in the matrix. You're no longer in 3D. Some of y'all are advanced. Some of y'all are up there like in 9 or 10. Y'all got to start using your spiritual eyes, ears, throat, all your chakras. You got to start using them. That's what they're for. Some of y'all are not focusing on your 3D. If you notice when you're in sleep and it seems like you can see things, that's your third eye open. Your third eye is always open unless you close it. Anytime you pick up any divination tool, it's automatically open. Anytime you go into a metaphysical store or a bodega, I mean not a bodega, a botanica, your third eye is going to close. That's your protection. Your body automatically goes into protection. Talk to me, spirit. What messages do you have for the overall energy? Three, automatic. Oh, they gave four. At the bottom of the deck, ten of wands. Oh, my bad. They gave five. At the bottom of the deck, you have the ten of wands. That's ending. Y'all ready to start. So, one more day in December. Endings. It's funny. You got the ten of wands. It's ending. January 1st starts a whole brand new year. A whole brand new month. That's new beginnings. You have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a celebration. You have two lovebirds. That means April, the first day of spring, is Happy New Year's. Feliz Años Nuevos. That's when love is going to hit the air. That's when a lot of people are going to start meeting their demigod and demigoddesses. You got to remember, man said January 1st is the new year. As you know... It's cold outside. Nothing grows in the cold. Nothing. Everything is still dormant. Everything is still sleep. First day of spring is New Year's. That's new beginnings. You have the Ten of Cups. Love, prosperity, abundance. Making babies. Babies growing. Giving you grandbabies, grandchildren. You have the Three of Swords. Some of y'all are still connected to comradic family members. I'm not saying deny your family, but I'm saying you're going to have to love them from a long hinder spoon. Some of these karmatic family members keep coming back in each of your life because you're not resolving the issues. Some of these are triggering your growth. Some of these are triggering your blockages, wondering why you can't properly see, hear, or do the damn things. It's because you have to remove these blockages. Some of y'all had past loved ones that passed on. And y'all feel hurt because y'all wasn't able to resolve this. Sometimes they can stand in and have blockages also. You're going to have to start writing high, high believing ancestors known and unknown on your ancestor money. You don't have to know them. Even if you were adopted, they know you. Spirits know everything in the spirit realm. Some of y'all need to start breaking these generational curses in this karmatic debt. It's because y'all only putting down the names of the people that y'all felt helped you when they was upon this earth. Sometimes they not even fucking helping you. It's the ones that you don't even know. So sometimes y'all hindering your own growth. Y'all need to make amends before 
2021 sets. You have the four of pentacles. This is talking about sitting on your talents. Once again, some of y'all are extremely gifted and y'all sitting on your talents, talents. Spirit is saying, as above, so below. Same way you give, you have to give in the spiritual realm. I'm always giving free readings because I'm breaking my spiritual debt as above, so below. So you want to get blessed. You're sitting on talents. Also, you have to set boundaries. Also, a lot of people accuse me. They say, oh, she did this and she did this. No, I'm going to tell you now, if I'm not for you, don't follow me on YouTube. Why are you not following me on Facebook, but you follow me on YouTube? That don't make no sense. If your spiritual team is saying that I'm not for you, then you shouldn't be following me on here either. Majority of time, if your team is saying that I'm not into you, it's because I'm not giving you my energy. I'm not always dropping gems. It's like you want free stuff all the time, and I'm not going to keep giving you free stuff. That's wrong. You're not going to walk into the bank and ask for money. You're not going to walk into Target or Walmart and ask for free food. No, come on. I am worth every damn cent. So if you have a question, I'm not greedy. You can give me $5, $2.50, whatever, but I'm not going to keep giving free stuff. And then y'all get mad when I cut you off and I say, no, no, no. Then all of a sudden I'm bougie and I got a fucking attitude. No, that's you. I don't have an attitude. You have an ego problem. And it's not a, nothing else more about me. I'm going to drop it. But don't, that doesn't make any sense. If your team says, I'm not for you, then you need to cut all ties from me. That's meaning YouTube also. You know, no matter how you try to take things from me and use it for your own better good, it's not going to work out because you don't have my team. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit told me to rephrase this. If this offended you, then this message was for you. If it did not offend you, then we're going to go back to the normal process. This is for the people that's talking bullshit and spirit told me to address it. So if what I just said about me, if it triggers you, then it must be for you. If it didn't trigger you, then toss it over your soldier, soldier, uh, soldier like soap. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Cups. You're going to be celebrating everything, like I said, because you're releasing and you're healing. You're releasing these ten of wands. The cup, the number is 10, 10, 10. That's 10, 10, 10. You have three tens in this. And you hear my phone going off. People know I'm doing a video. This is what I'm talking about. I say I'm doing a video and you're constantly in there. What you doing? I just told you I'm doing a YouTube video. Y'all don't listen. That's how you know when a person don't listen to the words coming out of your mouth, they don't care about their feelings, they selfish. I'm trying to teach y'all something here. I'm trying to teach you something here. When they're not paying attention to what you say, that's a sign from the universe, from your team saying they don't care about you. So you know what? Start treating them like they treat you. You have 10, 10, 10. You got to drop these endings to get these new beginnings because it's coming. We got this yesterday, the Ace of Cups. Spirit is trying to teach y'all something here. When you criticize somebody or somebody criticize you and you get offended, that's something that you have to work on. Spirit, sometimes your ancestors make you do things so you can see the picture because you want to give everybody a chance. You want to see everybody make it. You got to understand when you are a spiritual mentor or a spiritual guide or a spiritual teacher, guru, master, whatever you want to call yourself, your job is to plant the seed and guide them. Spirit is telling me to go back into the biblical days. Jesus always sat and taught and he had multiples and multitudes and multitudes of people. Spirit, God, Jesus told his 12 disciples, but it was more than 12, but those 12 was chosen because they didn't take from him. One was to kiss a death, Judah, and he hanged himself. The other one denied him, Peter. That was examples. Jesus already knew because his team and God told him. But the point I'm saying, he had a lot of people gathering because he was a wise teacher, healer. He was a master in everything. But he said, these people only want me because I break bread with them. 
He got tired giving his pearls to swines because they did not pay attention to the words coming out of his mouth. They only wanted what he can give them. So I'm trying to drop a dime on you. Some of these people that's constantly in your box, they don't want what really, they don't want nothing from you. They want to take from you. And they don't want to give anything. That's how you know they take us. And because people are in past, we always give us. People, Spirit is saying you got to stop and cut that off. I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about here. You're going to have to stop doing that in 2021. You're worth every damn penny. When they get mad at you, it's not for you. You say bye-bye because you offended them, because you blocking. You are a beautiful peach. Not a dehydrated peach. You are a beautiful plum. Not a prune. Okay? Your energy is like liquid gold. Give it to people that appreciate it. Because when people appreciate you, they give back. Because they love you. They appreciate you. They don't deplete you. Sometimes people want to use you. Because you let them. And then when they get mad because you cut them off. That's how you make enemies. So you need to start now. In the beginning, say, no, no, no. Don't keep doing that. That's why I made that example. If you keep feeding stray dogs, they're going to keep following you because they want you to keep feeding them. Maybe they'll protect you. Maybe they don't, but they're quicker to tell something bad about you than something good about you. So you got to start using your intuition. Back to the um, program. Can I get clarification of the Ten of Pentacles? You have the hangman. Remember in the beginning, I cut the deck in half. You had the victory and then you had the hangman. Well, you got the hangman again and this is in a totally different deck. And you got victory. So that's fucking confirmation. Because the first deck is this deck. I cut it in half. You had the hangman and, and the victory card when I first started. And you got it again under the Ten of Pentacles. You have to start looking at things at another side. Your spirit will start telling you and people are going to start telling on their self. And you'll be like, damn, if I'm that bad, then why are you keep coming around? Because that's bullshit because you're not giving them all the time. So spirit is going to start letting you see things about people. I don't mind using myself, for example. I don't mind because I'm healing. So I don't care. I could talk about it. Can I get clarification of the three of swords? And the three of swords, you have the wheel, a completion. You're starting to find that balance. Like I said, if you start listening to your team, they will start revealing things and people will start hanging themselves and you're going to start seeing them behind their mask. So the three of swords, you're healing, you're walking away, you're starting to stop giving your pearls to swines. You start, you're starting to stop feeding these stray dogs because you see they're just using you for their own benefit. That's when you're going to get this completion, this wheel. That's when things are going to start happening to you. Four of Pentacles, Spirit. Can I get clarification? Four of Pentacles, you got three cords. Y'all sitting on your talents. Some of y'all afraid of your own power. Some of y'all be like, damn, I'm tired of the competition. I'm tired of everybody nick pitting with me. I'm tired. Spirit is saying you need to find your own self. Don't be like me. Don't be like Mickey Mouse. Don't be by Minnie Mouse. Do your own damn things. Every seer is a prophet, but every prophet is not a seer. And what I'm talking about, what I see, you might not see. And what you see, I might not see. Each one, teach one. I am a teacher and I'm also a student, just like you. Two and two equals four. Two plus two equals four. It doesn't matter. Two and two equals four. It doesn't matter how you do it. It still comes down to four. What I'm saying, y'all need to find your own individual self. Stop trying to be like Bob, Sheila, me, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Be like your own damn self. And then that's how you're going to prosper. People are not going to like you. They never have liked you in the beginning. Ever since you was brought home from the hospital. When you was born, you was given a name. Even by even if it was by the state, if it was you was taken, the state gave your name, your adoption family gave your name, your biological family gave your name. You got a name. There could be so many Toms 
in the world. Just because you had the same name, Tom, you're still unique and individually different. So you need to find who you are. This Tom might like Brussels sprout. This Tom might like peas. That Tom might like broccoli. It's still Tom. You have to find who you are. People are going to compete with you. That's what it is. You got to get over it. You got to go through this death to get to this rebirth. You got to start standing up for you, for what you believe. When, like I said before, this is a powerful statement. When someone criticizes you and you get upset, that's an ego problem. That means you have to work on you. Can I get clarification of the Ten of Cups? Spirit wants you to be you. You have your own different team. I might have Lilith in my court. You might have Lilith in your court. Lilith is going to talk and treat me different than Lilith talks and treats you different. That's how it is. We all totally different people. Can I get clarification of the Ten of Cups, Spirit? Under the Ten of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords, a whole new creativity idea. You're going up higher. Spirit wants to talk to you. You have to be patient and find yourself. You are the alchemy. You are the magician. The magic is in with you. I might be a powerful uh, root worker. You might be a powerful uh, in black magic. You might be powerful in hexing people. That's why it's called a collaboration. That's why people in the workforce, you, you good at this in accounting. You good at this in inventory. You good at this. That's what makes a team. There's no I in team. It's a combination of different gifts. God gave you all gifts. Y'all need to collaborate, not be the same. I might, I read tarot, oracle cards, different from people that you see on YouTube. I didn't have nobody teach me. Well, my llama damas, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? You have to find yourself. Victory is yours. Everything is moving rapidly in 2021. You got to start now with yourself. Can I get you under the Ace of Cups? You have the Seven Pentacles because you're planting good seeds and you're about to taste how juicy your fruit is. You're starting to see, damn, my fruit is finally coming in. You're starting to walk away from the bullshitters. You're starting to walk away from people that's constantly in your pocket taken from you. That's all they want to do is take it from you. The majority of the time, they take your words, flip it, and make money off of it and say their team gave it to you when damn well they got it from you. Some of y'all are going to be traveling out of troubled waters into common waters. Some of y'all are going to be traveling I'm hearing once again, someone's trying to go to Ghana. And you know what? You're going to be finding your love in Ghana. The lover's card came out, falling in love with you, falling in love with your higher self and God, and finding your demigod and demigoddess. Once again, ten of wands. Clarification. Y'all have to go through these endings to get these beginnings. Can I get clarification? What else do you want, Spirit? You want them to know. Get out of your head. Also, y'all praying for love. Spirit is saying, give the damn love to you. And that's how you're going to get this lover card. Because they thinking, he or she is thinking about you. They heavily thinking about you. They manifesting you. But sometimes you're the hold up. And then again, sometimes it's they the hold up. Some of y'all want people to do the work. You got to do it yourself. Like I said, there's a classroom full of people and, a, and the teacher pass out tests to everyone. You got to do your own damn test. You can't say, here, Sandra, do my test too because I feel like you know everything. I don't know everything. And what I do know, I get from my team. The same way I get shit from my team, you can get shit from your team too. That's how it works. Really, that's how it really works. You know? I'm here to guide you, not hold your hand. I can tell when people are listening to the words coming out of my mouth. And if you're trying to take things that I say, it's not going to work for you. Spirit already told me it's not going to work because you're only going to get so far and then you're going to hang yourself. You know, you got to do the work. You got to do the work. How do you think you get promoted at jobs? How do you think you get incentives? Because you do the work. Someone is worried about a message. 
something about some bad news. I'm hearing someone's going to get summons in the mail about something. Um, Spirit is saying, don't worry about it. You're not going to get evicted. Your car is not going to get repoed. Um, your child support is going to happen. I don't know. Um, Spirit is saying, don't worry about it. And some of y'all are going to get a message of good news. And you're like, oh my God, I've been waiting on this. Y'all selling it. You're going to get this money. I'm hearing someone pass and they left you in the wheel and you didn't know it because you felt like y'all wasn't close. But you got to understand, sometimes people see things in you that you don't see in yourself. Someone's going to get a large sum of money that's going to help them pay their rent up, their costs, and do what they do. Spirit is saying, don't spend it foolishly. What other messages do you have for them? What did I tell you? A great fortune. Some of y'all are going to be marrying into wealth. There's a wealthy man because you're standing up. He see your potential. He see that you're trying to do the damn things. It doesn't matter what Minnie and Mickey Mouse is doing. He's worrying about you because you're trying to be your own damn self. That's what your lover wants. Your demigod and demigods want you to be uniquely different. That's what sets you apart from the wolves because you stick out. Quit trying to be like everybody else and be like your own damn self. That's why you're missing the blessing because you're worrying about doing everything else, trying to be like everybody else, and you're not getting it. He don't want nobody like everybody else. He, can, he or she can have anybody they want. They want you because you're different. And some of y'all are fucking that up. Y'all fucking it up. 2121. This person has money, male or female. This person has money and wants you because you're doing the damn things. You're speaking the truth. You don't give a fuck about what Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse is saying. What other messages do you have for the overall energy? Being that king or queen, privileged lady is going to move on. He wants that privileged lady. You think Erica Badu, you think Pharrell, you think uh, Buster Rhymes, you think anybody else give a fuck that you knew think different. That's why a lot of people are asking for fame and fortune and you can't handle the shit now. How the fuck are you going to handle fame? Them, them celebrities get shitted on all the time. Some people are like, well, I would have said this. No, you fucking wouldn't. Stop lying. You wouldn't say that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal things non, you got to deal with things professionally. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always quick to make a statement. If you don't like how somebody's posting something or somebody said, ignore it, move on, scroll on, quit wasting energy, making a comment. If it's not meant for you, apparently it triggered your ego. That's why you left a nasty comment. That's why you said something because it triggered you. That's how you know you got something to work on. Y'all holding yourself hostage. Someone's stealing from you. Like I said, all my people out there, people are going to come to you because they said, oh, you spiritual. You're supposed to automatically help people. No, the fuck I don't. I do it because I want to. And you need to say the same thing. I do it because spirit says to. You're not obligated to nobody but you, God, and your team. And you need to start saying that. People are stealing from you. They stealing your ideas and they making money over it. But if you notice, you keep prospering and they don't know why you keep prospering because it was meant for you, not them. You can be imitated, baby, but you can't be duplicated. What other messages do you have for them? Y'all need to start scanning people. Some of y'all been gifted as a child. Some of y'all going to have a gifted child. Some of y'all have gifted children. So y'all need to step up on your A game because y'all are their, their children's spiritual teacher and mentor. Somebody is concerned about something because they say, what is goes on with Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse? They different. They looking different. They caring about themselves because you're going through a spiritual life change. You growing. So people are not going to like you. You starting to say no because they can't steal from you anymore. Y'all asking for marriage. Spirit is saying y'all going to get married to your spiritual team. That's the first commitment is with you, God, and your spiritual team. Then you're going to get your demigod and demi demigoddess. That's going to be the Holy Trinity. But it starts with you. Everything starts with you. Start saying life, prayer, affirmations over your food and water. Start planting that gift of life inside of you. Positivity overrules negativity. A lot of people are not loyal to you. Y'all are asking for marriage, like I said. Damn. 
lover's card, marriage card, wifey, which also means marriage card, loyalty, because y'all know a dog can be loyal, and a dog can be disloyal too. But a dog would give its life for you if you treat the dog correctly. What I'm trying to say is marriage is with you, with your higher self, with God, your spiritual team, and then he or she is going to come. It has to start with you. It's coming, but the commitment is with you first. What other messages do you have? Oh, it must have flipped back. One more card, Spirit. Death and rebirth. Someone is family come from a very spiritual background. You don't know these ancestors, but they say they're ready to pass on their spiritual gifts to you so you can walk in there. You're going to be more powerful for them, but you're holding yourself back. This is a grandmother. She was a mambo. She was a high, powerful high priest in Santeria. Santeria, she corrected me. So Santeria. She wants to pass her gifts on to you. She said you're more powerful than her, but you're holding yourself back because you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to be with like everybody else but your own damn self. You're not going to get it. You asking for power to increase your powers and increase your gifts. I don't know who this is. You asking to be have a wealthy, successful business, but you're not being you. You're trying to be like everybody else. Well, Minnie Mouse have this in here and it's doing good. So let me see. Mickey Mouse team got Mickey Mouse set up. Your team is trying to set you up. Quit worrying about what's on your left and right and worry about your own damn path. You're fucking up because you're trying to be like everybody else but your own damn self. And you find out you're losing. You're losing. So they say you need to get it together. You are a queen. You are a king. You come from a powerful tree of life. You have strong ancestral, powerful ancestral roots. They try to transform you. There's transformation all around you, but you're holding the shit up. You have to go. This is the third. You have to go to a rebirth, a death to get this rebirth. You have prosperity, abundance. Abundance does not always mean money. Abundance can be all type of stuff. Your health improving, your car getting paid off, your house, your mortgage being paid. You don't have to owe nothing because it's all paid up. Blessings come in all type of shape forms. It doesn't always mean money. The spirit is always saying on y'all petition, y'all always asking about money and love. Y'all not asking for mental clarity, clear hearing, understanding. Y'all not asking for a healthy relationship, your kids to be healthy and heal, have a healed body. Y'all forgetting all about that because all y'all care about is love and money when you don't fucking care and love yourself. When you start manifesting stuff, you need to ask for my partner to be healthy on the inside, mentally, emotionally, verbally. Y'all always forgetting about that. That's being fucking selfish. That's why a lot of y'all are not manifesting shit because they not jumping off when you want them to. And spirit is saying it's not going to happen until you learn. Every time something fucked up happened in your life, it's because you flunked the damn test and they want you to repeat it because apparently you didn't learn the lesson. Once you learn the lesson, the lesson is going to turn into a blessing and then you can have anything you fucking want. But some of y'all are not getting it. Y'all keep wondering why y'all keep attracting the same female, the same males. Because y'all just stuck. Y'all not getting it. And spirit's going to keep letting it rehappen until you start getting it. And you get tired of them lighting that fire under your ass. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.